What's up everybody? Today we have a 94 Z28 Camaro. It has the LT1 in it. As you can see we have some of the stuff I were taking off because I took it off to do some diagnosing on this and we found out that the off the spark on this right here was going bad which is basically the distributor on this car. And we are going to be changing that. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, first thing you need to do is just take the air cleaner and air box off of it. Just because you have to get down to the front. And the OptiSpark distributor, whatever you want to call it, lives behind the water pump actually. So what we're going to do is start draining the coolant on this first. And then we will start pulling all the... Uh, radiator hoses off we're going to pull the fan assembly out and all that stuff I just got to grab a few tools before we get started all right like I said you will have to take the air assembly out on this and to do that it's just two hose clamps one on the breather box one on the throttle body and then you get like two connectors and there will be like a resonator tube that goes down in front of the radiator you just pull it up and it should clear but now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to pop this radiator support cover off right here. Looks like it's probably, all this is more than likely going to be standard. So these look like they're 3 8 or 7 16 But grab some stuff. Should be three, but... This one only had two. Thread it back in for the time being. Let me get down in there. Alright, so now that that is out of the way, you should have to just pull up on the fan and it should come out. There we go. All right, she's loose from the bottom. We just gotta find the connectors. Yeah, looks like it goes over to the right. But let me go ahead and get these hoses off and once I get all the hoses off and get the coolant drain, I'll bring y'all back just because I know y'all don't want to see any of that boring stuff. But the hoses are going to have just these little squeeze clamps. So that should be one, two, three on it. One on the thermostat, one on the lower, uh, the upper portion of the water pump, and one that goes into the throttle body. So, like I said, let me pull all these hoses and stuff off so we can get them out of the way, and then we'll pull the fan out and I'll show you once the fan is out where all the connectors are so I did take the radiator out of this I did it just so I could have a little bit more room here is your radiator so when you take this out disconnect this upper hose right here that goes to the water pump should be one on the driver side as well there's a lower one on the driver side right there it's a smaller hose then you're going to have two little hoses right here your transmission lines right there if you have an automatic there is a sensor and here is your drain valve right there it is on the passenger side and then uh, you have to take the fans out before you can do this just because it does hit the water pump uh, like inlet hose like a little I think it's a 5 8 or 3 quarter inch hose that goes to it so the fans hit that so you have to drop the fans out from the bottom and here is the fan assembly right here the connectors are right there and there and like I said this right here just lifts up and slides down you do have to drop it out of the bottom just because this fan right here will hit the water pump like I said before I used a pick to get into the sensors because you have to lift up from the bottom and you don't have a lot of room in here so you just get you a little right angle pick and you should be able to pull them out pretty easy but we're going to set this up against the radiator like 
so. And here's the hose I was talking about, the fan tips right there. I did take it off. And there is your lower hose right there that goes to the radiator. So next thing we want to do is work on getting this water pump out. You will have a sensor right here. I think that's your temp sensor on this one. Come on, don't break. There we go. All I really have left to do is take this uh, water line right here off and then I can start pulling the water pump off itself which looks like there should be 419 I mean 916 it's not 19 the 916 bolts right there and on the bottom and then you can pull it out because the water pump is driven by the OptiSpark or a little shaft on the back actually yeah well, once I get it off, I'll show you how it's driven. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken one of these apart. And to take this out, you do have to take the harmonic balancer off too. And that is another reason I took the water, uh, radiator out. Because it will give me a lot more room in here to do that. Alright, so we got the water pump off. I always forget there's two more bolts on these on the side. This one's held on with six. But on this, I had to take the pump right here off the vacuum pump and take the coil off as well because the bracket right here it goes on right around through there and it is uh, over top of this bolt right here on the water pump but as you can see there is a drive shaft pretty much through the timing cover that drives the water pump on this and on these lower bolts down here for the bracket which is right there see if I can get y'all in a little closer it is right there um, I did have to take the two uh, spark plug wires off the top which isn't a big deal because we're going to be taking them off anyway but now next thing we need to do is pull the harmonic balancer off you need to take the belt off which tensioner is right here and I believe that is just like a 13 maybe a 13 or 14 yes probably a 13 yeah 13 millimeter and then you can take the belt off and then you can take these bolts right here off we pulled the harmonic balancer off you don't have to pull the main crank pulley off so you don't have to pry that off right there which is good because I forgot that this right here will actually slip around it. So what I did was number the spark plug wires 1 through 4 on the passenger and then 5 through 8 on the driver's side. Just so I know what order to go in. So I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4 down, 5, 6, 7, 8 down. And here is our balancer right there. Now that we have, have it to this point, there should be 3... 10 millimeter bolts right here and then one connector Let's see if we can get this connector up may have to use a pick I can find one I thought I had one on me but I sorry about that I'm just going to use this little tool see if I can pry up well, things tight ain't it there it goes get that off and I'm gonna set y'all down so I can show y'all how this comes off I've already loosened them Oh, and by the way, the bolts on the harmonic balancers were 16 millimeters. A lot of this stuff you can use metric on there if you want to. And this last one is underneath here. I see my pick mouse on the ground. 
all of these are the same length so you don't have to worry about any of that Sometimes I like to use hose clamp pliers to pull these off because you can get right up on them. And it grabs it pretty good. I do that on the LS style engines as well. All right. And there you go. She is off of there. And there you go. That's it right there on the spline. There is a notch in there, it, so it goes a specific way. I'll show you on the other one. Okay, here's the old one. Here's the new one, and I still got the little shaft inside of it because I rotated the engine until. The uh, wide flat spot was on the top, just so it make it easier for me. And here is the new one. I don't know how well you can see that. Right there. Kind of trying to get it to focus. But right there, there is a wide spot right there. We're going to turn that straight up because that's which way we orientated this one. And then you can get a pair of pliers and pull this out. But I've already pulled it out. So now we are going to put her back in. lubing up the shaft a little bit just so it goes in a little easier around the seal like I said sometimes it's a little tricky getting them in right, we can throw our bolts back in Put her connector back on the top. Put a cool wire on there just to Make sure nothing gets down inside of that. All right, we're almost going to start putting everything back together. First thing I got to do is put the harmonic balancer. Then I can put the water pump on, and then I can put the uh, brackets back on. Then the coil, then all the fan and radiator and stuff. But let me get y'all some part numbers real quick. So here is the actual distributor probably go off the GM22 or the US1832 there's the barcode as well and here are your water pump gaskets they are 35072 and that's the same thing for both of them and then we're just going to put uh, I think deck school is what's recommended in this I'm going to clean off the water pump and stuff before we put this on but once I get it all back together I'll bring y'all back and show you all the stuff that I did. We have everything back together and I'm filling it up now. There is a bleed port right here. You just want to open that. And I'm using one of these no spill funnels. And we're just going to open it and you can see it right here going down. I'm just going to keep adding water to it as it goes down. The 
a steady stream coming out of that one. And then there's another one right down here. If I can get my there it goes. You can hear the air coming out of that one now. And water is coming out. Okay. Tighten it back up. Open this one one more time. Water coming out of that one. And we should be good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and try to crank it. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, y'all have a great day.